Okay, so this is 2.4 continued, so it starts with synthetic division, and then we are introduced to what is called the remainder theorem. So the remainder theorem states, if a polynomial f of x is divided by x minus c, then the remainder is f of c. All right, so theorems, yes. It's like, what is it saying? So essentially what's happening, look at this problem we have here on the board. Oh, yeah, the board. So we have 4x squared plus 3x minus 5 divided by x plus 5. So if we use synthetic division, all right, c divided by, all right, x minus c. So this is of the x minus c form. Remember that. It says then the remainder is f of c. So we're going to divide this problem. So first our shelf would be negative 5. Our top row, 4, 3, negative 5. All right, and then we would go through and perform our synthetic division, all right, because it's divided by, so we actually do the problem. So the first value comes straight down, negative 20. We add down 3 plus negative 20, negative 17, negative 17 times negative 5. I don't have a calculator. Somebody multiply that for me. Clearly, I'm going to have to do it myself, though. All right, so 85, and it's positive. Negative 5 plus 85 would give me an 80, okay? Then the remainder is f of c. Remember, the, the, the value in that last place is always considered to be the remainder. So this is a division problem. So essentially, our answer would be 4x minus 17 plus 80 over x plus 5. Yes? Yes. All right, but we're dealing with the remainder theorem right now. And so what we're focusing on is identifying a certain value. So this says, if a polynomial f of x is divided by x minus c, then the remainder is f of c. There's the key, f of c. In our particular problem, our f of c would be f of negative 5. And so essentially what the remainder theorem is saying is that whatever you get as your remainder is going to be the value of f of c. So f of c is the same thing as f of x, which is our function notation. So if I wanted to look for f of negative 5, what would I do? I would take the given function, and I would substitute in negative 5 in for every x. And I would simplify it. f of negative 5 is equal to 80. Well, that was the answer. That was also the remainder. And so what this remainder theorem does is it allows you to find f of c, f of any c, by doing synthetic division. And whatever you get as your remainder is what f of c would be equal to. And so basically, if you were to plug it into the original function and simplify it, plug it in for every x, you would get that same outcome. And so synthetic division and the remainder theorem are allowing us to get answers to things without having to substitute in every x and simplify it. Now you can just do synthetic division and whatever you get as your remainder would be the answer to plugging in that value in for every x and simplifying. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, so here, when we're working these type of problems dealing with the remainder theorem, our instructions are basically going to help us know what to do, which again is why the vocabulary is important. Use synthetic division, so you know that method, and the remainder theorem to find the indicated value. So you know the method you need to work the problem, synthetic division. The remainder theorem is how you know what your answer is going to be. <gasps> the remainder, right? So when we set up the, look at this problem, we have the given function, and they want us to identify f of 1. So in the previous chapter, we would have taken that 1 and substituted it in for every x component in this function and then just simplified the problem. Well, with the remainder theorem and synthetic division, we make the 1 our shelf number. We do not have to change the sign because it's not in the x minus c form. They're actually giving it to us as f of c, right? So 
it's just that is our C is one because it's not in the X minus C format. And then we have our top row. So we bring down the first value is four and we go through our synthetic division process. Four times one is four. It goes into the subsequent column. We add down negative 13 plus four, negative nine, negative nine times one, negative nine, seven plus negative nine, negative two, negative two times one is negative two, negative four plus negative two is negative six. And so we have this answer here. Now, when our instructions are to divide the polynomial using synthetic division, then this answer would come out as 4x squared minus 9x minus 2 minus 6 over x minus 1 if we were actually dividing it, right? Because the divisor would have been x minus 1. But this problem is not about dividing a polynomial. This problem is about using synthetic division and the remainder theorem to what? Find the indicated value. You have to know what you're looking for. So I'm looking for f of 1. So the only answer that's relevant in this problem right here is the negative 6, which is the remainder, right? So our answer for these problems are only the remainder. So the answer would be negative 6. And you can always check your work by substituting it in and doing it the other way. Right? And so there we have it. All right? And so we know that we did it correctly. So, but it's important for you to realize your instructions. Use synthetic division and the remainder theorem to work these problems. Yes, you can substitute it in um, for every x and simplify, but that's not the method we are using. And so when you do it on paper, the work should say synthetic division and using the remainder theorem to get the answer. All right, let's do another, one more. Okay, so here we have this function. 4x cubed minus 6x squared minus 6x plus 2. And we're looking for f of negative 3. So negative 3 would be our shelf, right? Because we're using synthetic division and the remainder theorem to identify the indicated value. So 4, negative 6, negative 7, and 2. 4, negative 12. Uh, I don't have a calculator. So negative 139 is what I get. Let's see if that's right. Okay, so negative 139 is correct. Um, I didn't substitute it into every x. I just put it into my math lab, and I checked my answer. So I did it correct. Thank you. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're just looking for the indicated value. And so you just have to understand you're just substituting in your values. Instead of substituting in your values, you're going to use synthetic division in order for you to identify the indicated value for the polynomial function. So we have the same type of problem. x to the fourth plus 3x cubed plus 9x squared minus 6x minus 5. And we're looking for f of 3. All right, so you need to pause the video and you need to actually set it up and work this problem. Let's see what happens. Okay, so what should have happened here was our shelf is 3, our 1 comes straight down, so our top row is 1, 3, 9, negative 6, negative 5, 1 comes straight down, 1 times 3 is 3, 3 plus 3 gives us 6, so then we start again, 6 times 3 is 18, we add down, we get 27, 27 times 3 gives 81, Negative 6 plus 81 is 75. 75 times 3 is 225. Negative 5 plus 225 gives us 220. 
And so 220 would be our final answer. So f of 3 equals 220. Okay? Or you can just write 220. The way you do it on my math lab is you would just enter in the 220. Alright? So that is remainder theorem, 2.4.